For week eight's video question, we have to summarize the steps of a muscle contraction, beginning with the nerve impulse reaching the axon terminal. The axon terminal is part of the neuromuscular junction, which is where the motor neuron contacts the skeletal muscle. And it also consists of the sarcolemma. A motor neuron fires an action potential down the axon, which causes the axon terminal to release acetylcholine, or ACH, into the synaptic cleft. The acetylcholine binds receptors on the junctional folds of the sarcolemma, which causes a local depolarization called in-plate potential. The in-plate potential triggers another action potential in the adjacent sarcolemma, and that travels down the T-tubules and causes calcium to be released by the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The calcium binds to troponin, which shifts the tropomyosin to reveal the myosin binding sites on actin. The myosin heads bind the actin and then contraction occurs via cross-bridge cycling. Now, during cross-bridge cycling, the energized myosin heads attach to actin myofilaments, forming a cross-bridge. ADP and phosphorus are released and the myosin head pivots and bends, pulling the actin filament toward the end line. After ATP attaches to the myosin, the link weakens and the myosin head detaches. As the myosin head hydrolyzes ATP into um, ADP and phosphorus, its power stroke um, high energy position is returned. So it just um, stands back up into its original position.